My wife Michelle died a little over two years ago when my son Grant was just 10 years old. I had heard about Steffi's place from one of our hospice nurses, but I wasn't ready to talk with anyone outside of my circle of family and close friends for quite a while. Uh, in fact, it, it took over a year before I had the desire to give group a try. I didn't say much during the first few meetings I attended. Um, I, I did listen a lot though. I tend to keep things pretty close to the vest with people I don't know well, so I needed time to become comfortable enough to share my personal story. Looking back, I also believe I was trying to get a handle on what was expected of me. What I learned was that my presence, simply being there, was enough. When I have something to say, I say it. And I do that much more now than I did in the beginning because I've come to realize that at its core, my group is simply a collection of people like me. People who are living in the aftermath of suffering a loss. And that's the essential element of group. Regardless of where each of us is on our grief journey, and some of my group have lost a loved one very recently, while others suffered their losses years ago, we all get it. Uh, the getting it is the key. Uh, this is why I come. Although I have supportive friends and family, most don't have the perspective that members of my group have. This is unfortunate perspective. It's perspective I wish I didn't have. But when people get it, you feel heard when you share. I leave each session feeling like I was understood. And that's a big deal. My name is Alice Rinalis. My friendship with Sheila began when her two boys were students in my Holy Cross classroom many years ago. On February 20th, 2021, I nervously reached out to Sheila when I found myself in a complete state of turmoil after suddenly losing my husband and also my best friend within an hour of each other. Steffi's place has been a virtual godsend for me as I have been living in North Carolina for the past four years. The weekly Zoom sessions with my Wednesday morning loss of spouse support group have become an anchor point in my grief journey giving me a safe place to honestly face an uncertain future. I'm so thankful I connected virtually with these new friends in the accepting environment, which helps me navigate my new life and where all thoughts and feelings are welcome. Hi, my name is Nancy. And after the deaths of two of my three children within six months of each other, I was broken and I was lost and I attended several different grief, grief support groups along the way and then I found Steffi's place and I found home and Steffi's place means so much to me, my group, my peeps. Um, so I'm very thankful for the love and the support of Steffi's place. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lisa from the Divorce Support Group. I came to Steffi's Place, a complete wreck. Thank you, Steffi's Place, for giving me the tools I needed to heal a wonderful support system and newfound friends. I can now start my new journey. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Betty Scott, and I'm a facilitator and co-facilitator for two loss of spouse groups at Steffi's Place. I came to Steffi's place when I was one of the original groups six years ago, very broken after losing the love of my life. And I've learned through the group therapy and all of my friends at Steffi's place, especially Kevin and Trish, who were my facilitators, to navigate my grief. I wanted to give back what Steffi's place has given me. So I asked Sheila if I could be trained to be a facilitator. I wanted to be able to walk into a room, have someone walk into my room and hold their hand, look at them in the face and say, you will get through this. I know you don't believe me, but you're not always going to feel this way. You will learn to love and live again. And through the compassion and love and training that Sheila has given me, I have done that. I have watched people for that have come to me a year to two and a half years ago who didn't even want to get out of bed in the morning. 
and they've, they've grown into uh, very productive lives. And all of them have become very close to me. And I will always remember, and with gratitude, what I've learned here. I'm going to end this by saying I've learned to teach people to accept the things they cannot change, the courage to change the things they can, and the wisdom to know the difference. But as we all know, it's always going to be a work in progress. Thank you. We are Bill and Tony Sarapa. We lost our oldest son, Will, at 34 to suicide on June 24th, 2021. When Lori called and reached out and invited us to join Steffi's place and the group lost due to suicide, we did not know what to expect. We were welcomed, made to feel comfortable with people that were ready to hear anything and everything we needed to say. And today we don't know how we would have survived our loss without the support and connection to others in our group. We continue to walk through our journey with the support and we grow with each and every experience from everyone in the group. To everyone at Steffi's Place, we send a huge heartfelt thank you for all you do and for all the people you touch. Thank you. Thank you.